In this video, we'll look at the idea of proportionality in the context of representing distances on maps. So all maps are drawn with a specific scale, and what you see is a shrunken version of the area represented by the map, which means that the distance on the map is proportional to the actual distance that is represented by the map. And we're going to use the term driving distance to represent like an actual distance that is represented by the map. So we'll suppose a map has a scale where 3 centimeters on the map represents 34 miles of driving distance. We'll go ahead and let D represent a driving distance in miles and let M represent the corresponding map distance in centimeters just to make things a little easier to talk about. So to think about the scale, let's draw some line segments. So let's think about it. a value of D equals 34 or a driving distance of 34 miles. We'll draw a line segment to represent that. And then we'll also think about the corresponding map distance, which is m equals 3, which is a number of centimeters. And so we'll draw a line segment to represent that value of 3. Maybe it looks something like this. And so the driving distance in miles is quite a bit larger than the map distance in centimeters. And it turns out that based on this scale, d is exactly 34 divided by 3 times as large as, so I'll abbreviate that, times as large as, the corresponding map distance m. So looking at that diagram, that seems to make sense. The blue line segment seems to be about 34 thirds times as large as the map distance m. So this actually tells us quite a bit about distances on the map and corresponding driving distances. So let's suppose that we have a map distance of 7.3 centimeters. So we have 7.3 centimeters on a map. So we'll draw something like a line segment like that. And we want to know the corresponding driving distance in miles. What we know is this driving distance has to be 34 divided by 3 times as large as that map distance. And therefore, the driving distance, which is 34 thirds times as large as the map distance, is 34 divided by 3 times 7.3, which is approximately that's approximately equal to 82.73. So a map distance of 7.3 centimeters corresponds to a driving distance of about 82.73 centimeters. And this is all based on the fact that the driving distance is always 34 divided by 3 times as large as the map distance. Now let's switch things around a little bit. We know that the map distance, so based on our original scale, the map distance is 3 divided by 34 times as large as the corresponding driving distance d, just based on our original scale here. And again, that tells us quite a bit how the map distance and driving distance are related. So I'll erase some of this old work here. So let's suppose we have a driving distance of 150 miles. So D equals 150. So that's a pretty long segment. Draw a long blue segment there. Not necessarily to scale to the original scale there. And then we want to know the corresponding map distance M. Now we know the map distance is going to be 3 divided by 34 times as large as that driving distance. And therefore the map distance is 3 divided by 34 times the 150 miles. And that has a value of approximately 13.23, about 13.24. And therefore, 150 miles of driving distance corresponds to 3 fourths times 150, which is approximately 13.24 centimeters on the map. 